Hi everyone, thank you for joining. My name is Jennifer. I'm a tutor at the Garcia Center and I attend Texas A&M University Corpus Christi. Today I'm going to be going over some math for students ages 9 through 10 which are in 3rd and 4th grade. For both 3rd and 4th grade, I'm going to be going over measurement with the focus on converting yards, feet, and inches. For more videos like this, don't forget to join us on Mondays and Wednesdays at 12.30 p.m. After the video, there will be a small quiz. This quiz can be found on the link above. The quiz will consist of what I'm about to go over. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started with grade three measurement. We are going to convert between yards, feet, and inches. So here I have one yard equals three feet and one foot equals 12 inches. So we need to convert the given measures to new units. So let's start with number one. We have seven yards and we want to get inches. So first we're going to go from yard to feet, from feet to inches. So let's go from yard to feet. So if one yard equals three feet, how many feet are there in seven yards? We would do seven times three and that is 21. So there is 21 feet in yards. Now let's go from feet to inches. So in one foot there's 12 inches. So what we want to do is 21 times 12. So first we have 1 times 2, that's 2. 2 times 2, that's 4. Then we have a 0. Then we have 1 times 1, that is 1. And 2 times 1, that is 2. So we have 2 plus 0 is 2. 4 plus 1 is 5. And 0 plus 2 is 2. So this is 252 inches. Let's go on to the next one. We have 18 feet equals how many yards? So in one yard, there are 3 feet. So now we have feet and we want to go into yards. So what we would do, we would get the 18 and we would divide that by 3. So we can figure out how many yards there is. So 3 times what equals 18? That would be 6. 3 times 6 equals 18. 18 minus 18 equals 0. So the answer is 6 yards. Let's go on to the next one. We have 144 inches and we want to figure out the feet. So in one foot there are 12 inches. So the first thing we would do is 144 divided by 12. So we have 12 times what equals 1? Nothing. So that's 0, 1. No, that's 0. 12 times 0 is 0. 1 minus 0, that's 1. We bring down the 4. 12 times what equals 14? So let's go ahead and do that here. We have 12 times 1 equals 12. 12 times 2 equals 24. So we can see we don't have 14, but the closest would be 12. So we have 12 times 1 equals 12. What is 14 minus 2? That is 2. We bring down the 4. Now we have 24. So we have 12 times what equals 24? That is 2. So 12 times 2 equals 24. You subtract that, that is 0. So the answer would be 12. So 144 inches equals 12 feet. Let's go on to the next one. We have 15 yards equals how many feet? So one yard equals three feet. So if we have 15 yards, how many feet will we have? What we would do is 15 times three. So we have five times three is 15. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. So that would be 45 feet. 
So if you're wondering why we're multiplying by three, it's because we want to know yards to feet. So we have yards to feet. One yard equals three feet. So how many feet would be in 15 yards? We would have to multiply 15 and three. So let's go on to the last one. We have six feet equals how many inches? So here we have one foot equals 12 inches. So what we would do is 12 times six. So what is six times two? That is 12. Six times one, that is six plus one, that is seven. So that is 72 inches. So again, one yard equals three feet and one foot equals 12 inches. Now we're gonna get into grade four measurement. We need to convert between yards, feet, and inches. So here we have one yard equals three feet and one foot equals 12 inches. We need to convert the given measures to new units. So here we have 35 feet. So how many inches are there in 35 feet? So on one foot there is 12 inches. So what we would need to do is 35 times 12. So first we start with five times two, that's 10. Three times two, that's six plus one is seven. Then we have five times one is five. Three times one is three. So we have zero, seven plus five equals 12. Three plus one is four. So that is 420 inches. Let's go on to the next one. We have 60 inches and we want to go into feet. So what we're going to do is 60 divided by 12. So here we need 12 times what equals 60. So let's go ahead and, and do those here. 12 times one equals 12. 12 times two equals 24. 12 times three equals 36. 12 times four equals 48. 12 times 5 equals 60. So 12 times 5 equals 60. 60 minus 60 is 0. So 60 inches equals 5 feet. Let's go on to the next one. We have 74 inches and we want to go into yards. So let's see why it says yard and inches. Let's work out the problem. So what we need to go to is from inches to feet, right here, to yards. So the first thing we would do is 74 divided by 12. So 12 times what equals 74. So let's continue this. So we have 12 times 6 equals 72. 12 times 7 equals 84. So the closest is 72. So that is 6. So 12 times 6 equals 72. We subtract that and that is 2. So that is the remainder. So that is the 2 inches. So now let's see how many yards we have. So here we have 6 feet. Now remember we have to go from feet to yards. So we, what we would do is six divided by three. Three times what equals six? That is two. Three times two equals six. Six minus six is zero. So the answer is two yards and two inches. So let's get started with number four. I started it, but I made a mistake, so I went ahead and covered up that mistake. So let's go into it. So here we have 36 yards and we want to go into inches. So in one yard there's three feet. We want to go from yard to feet to inches. So 
we have 36 yards how many feet are there so 30 what we would do is 36 times 3 so let's do that right here what is 6 times 3 that is 18 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 that is 10 so here we have 108 feet so now we want to go from feet to inches so what we would do is 108 times 12. 2 times 8, that is 16. 2 times 0, that is 0, but plus 1 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2, we have to 0. 1 times 8, that is 8. 1 times 0 is 0, and 1 times 1 is 1. So here we have 6 plus 0 is 6, 8 plus 1 is 9, 2 plus 0 is 2, and 1 plus 0, it is 1. So the answer would be 1,296 inches. So now let's go into number 5. So right here, we want to go from inches to yards, but we will also have some inches left over. So let's work it out to see what the outcome will be. So first thing to do would be 78 divided by 12. So we have 78 divided by 12. 12 times what equals 78? If we look back at our multiplications of 12, the closest one would be 72 again. So that is 12 times 6. So we have 12 times 6 equals 72. So now we subtract that. 8 minus 2 equals 6. So this would be the remainder, and that would be 6 inches. So this remainder would be the leftover inches, so that would be 6 inches. Now let's go with this. We have 6 feet. Now we want to go into we want to go into yards. So what we would do is 6 divided by 3. 3 times what equals 6? 3 times 2 equals 6. 6 minus 6 equals 0. So the answer is 2. So we have 2 yards. So 78 inches equals 2 yards and 6 inches. That's all I have for you today. And don't forget, for more videos like this, join us on Mondays and Wednesdays. And remember kids, wash your hands, stay home if possible, and if you are out, try to stay at least 6 feet away from others. Thank you.